Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. So we have already covered like almost 20 plus video in the click view section and so I have uh, uh, given like provided you a complete roadmap for click view developer like in 2022 you can just go through it like it consists of all the important topics you can cover and learn click view very easily so all the resources and everything is also provided in the another blog so you can have a read if you want to learn click view or click sense you can utilize this as per your need and so apart from this in today's topic we are going to learn about concatenation and join so how we can do concatenation like what are the types of joins we can use here so let's directly jump into the click view so i have already created a basic table so what i did is i created a basic table 1 and table 2 so this is an inline table if you doesn't know like how i have created this table just uh, go here call insert go to this load section and go load inline so you can just uh, double click this f1 and uh, start writing like id and something like here you can double click and just in the header section you can double click and just write the name of that like uh, an ame so just like id equals to 1 2 3 4 sorry id equals to 3 4 and you can just start giving the name like a b c d and if you press ok so it will create a table for you it consists of this id and name is the column name and this one two three four are the values so i have already created one so i won't create it again so uh, let's remove this so this table is about id so we have id from one to five and there is something called quantity so we have something like three five three two three is the number of quantity that we have and again for this particular id we have the price so people often confuse on between like what is concatenation and what is joint so in simple term when you have to append two table one below the other like if i have a table uh, if i have an id like starting from one to five and another table starting from like five to ten so let's take an example here so if i put concatenation so for concatenation you just have to put concat word in between these two table and if you have like multiple table below it so what you can do is for specifying which table you want to concatenate so you just have to mention like which table name so i want to concatenate table one with table two so it's like concatenate uh, table one and table two so if i save it and run it let's see the table view of this so we have only one table now if you see here we have id from 1 to 5 having like price 2357 and again starting from 1 to 5 it doesn't have price here but we have uh, it, it doesn't have quantity here we have price only so you can see right if you append upper table with the lower table it makes sense here but if you are appending same ids again and again it doesn't make sense so just for clarification what we can do here is let's go back to this edit script and let me copy this table again okay and let comment this uh, let me do one thing uh, I, what i will do is i will just rename it from six uh, start renaming it like six seven eight nine and ten so now we have id from one to five and then six to ten so i guess you can assume right how it should look like so let's reload it and let's check how does it look like and let's go to table view yeah. now see it's starting from one two three four five and then six seven eight nine ten and the for this ids we have uh, quantity for this ids we have price we doesn't have quantity for this item so yeah now this makes sense because we have a sequence of ids and we are appending to top five id with the bottom five id so in this cases you can use concatenation but uh, when you are using joins so we have multiple type of join but the most frequently used joins are like uh, outer join and uh, left join right join and inner join so these are the most important one and we can like uh, talk about them in this video so let's remove this because we already had this one built so this will be good for joins and let's uncomment this and remove this concat word so now uh, let's shift it to the top here yeah. 
so now we have to perform join so what we can do so we can if you mention directly join only and if you doesn't specify anything also it will take it this as inner join and it will only merge those data having like similar values so if you mention inner join or join it do the same thing again you can specify the table name like which table you want to join with table 2 so sorry table 2 so and if we save this and reload it okay table 2 not found. okay sorry sorry i have to mention the above one okay i have to where is join table 1 okay okay let's see where i'm going wrong let's see the table view here and okay now you can see right so if we have inner join so ids were common right so we have one two three four five ids were common and for those ids we have this quantity and for those we have price so there must be any cases like if somebody have asked you okay in one table we have id and quantity and another table we have id and price so can you do one thing can you create uh, the total cost how much like how much it happened like how many let's assume like we have two quantity and price so what is the total money i get it from here so 2 into 10 is 20 3 into 20 is equal to 60 so like that i can create a column having total sale so for this is the price and this is the uh, quantity so it can give me a, a sales now this table can give me sales and uh, similarly if we this is the uh, inner join so it finds the common like these are the common ones and then do the join so if you mention like outer join so outer join is something that uh, create all these sort of combinations around so if like 1 2 is the one combination then 1 10 is also one combination so let's see uh, how does it look like then it will be more clear uh, let's go to table view and so it's like uh, because the id is common and we are using id in both the sections so that's why it's uh, giving you the same result every time but outer join means so if you had uh, let's see what i can do here is mm, okay uh, this is the table so i can just uh, copy it and comment it for now and what i will do i will remove all the ids id thing i will keep only one column that is price so if i keep only price then i guess it will make more sense how it's it is working so let's reload it again table view okay now you can see right for one id it's taking id 1 and taking the quantity 2 and price 10 so it's taking all the possible combinations so for one id there can be five combination because we have total five quantity and five prices it's taking one id taking all five combinations and again for this also it's taking five ids and again five combinations so it's take all the possible combination that can be possible inner join is uh, so let me repeat it again so for inner join it means it finds the common between the two table outer join means if you uh, put outer join it's find all the possible combination can be possible with table 1 and table 2 uh, so left join and right join means like it's a very simple concept so if you keep uh, the top table so always the top table will be your left table it means like this is left table and this is right table if i if i want to do left join it means i would want to take all the values from the left and only the common values from the right now you can see that we doesn't have any common values here so it doesn't like work it will act as outer join itself so if you put left join and reload it let's go to table view so see it act as outer join itself so it's because we have totally uh, yeah so we have uh, all the values in the left join it doesn't have a common key here so that's why the issue is and if i uncomment is why comment this and uncomment the this table too so okay, sorry i have to comment it 
so what you can see here is uh, again the ids are common right id and this join uh, is this is a very small table so if you try to do left join here it will give the same result as a inner join because here the left table is finding the value from the right table and almost all the values are similar so it's here see all the left table have finding the left table values and finding the matching right va right table values similarly the right join is very like similar to the left join the only difference is it's find the value from the right table so it's like mm, let me put it right join so it, it do the same thing it will go here take the right table id and price then again it will match with the top table then again this take the whole value of the right table and match with the left table what is the matching the quantity is matching right so it will take id price and the quantity from this table so again it will act as the same and it will produce the same result so let's see how does it look like again so see it's it's the same it's taking id and quantity from one and price from another so it's taking id and price if you can see the uh, sequence here if i put right join here it's taking id and price as the first and second column and taking the quantity as a third column because the the table the table one that is quantity table is on the top that is the uh, second table and the right table was the bottom one so the price came first before the quantity i hope this made sense to if you have any doubt regarding joins and concat please comment down below and if you like this video give us a thumbs up see you in the next video Bye.